I just wanted to apologise about my lack of content over the past week or 10 days. I've been busy with work and I've just not really had much to film if I'm being honest. I then remembered I'd shot a video on the gear that I use while shooting my YouTube videos when I had the X-T3 about two months ago and I thought I'd share that with you because it's it's reasonably interesting and it makes a video. Big shout out to my absolutely adorable and lovely mum who got me this t-shirt that I'm wearing. Check it out. I think it is absolutely gold and it is so me. So uh, yeah, big shout out mum, thanks a lot for that. Randomly just gave it to me when I saw her yesterday. She was like, oh, I hope you like this t-shirt. Absolutely love it, it's brilliant. And I'm sure it applies to a lot of you guys as well. I've got lots of cool things planned for the next couple of weeks. So there will be more interesting videos coming along. It's just that time of year and also I just, I don't have the means to get my hands on interesting cars. I've asked people like BMW UK and they haven't got back to me. I just, yeah, I wish I could review something. I wish I had a constant stream of cars coming in. Enjoy this video. Hey guys, how's it going? Hopefully you can see me on this very dismal winter's day. I've just finished shooting the brilliant Alpina XD3 that I'm currently sitting in at the moment. Hopefully you check out my review on this car because it's a, it's a weapon, especially this time of year. It is the ultimate winter weapon. Just thought I'd shoot a quick video on what I carry around with me, what I shoot my YouTube videos with. This isn't a right or a wrong way of shooting YouTube videos. As you know, I'm pretty new to this anyway, but I just thought I'd share with you what I shoot on. I ha haven't spent loads of money on my equipment. I don't have loads of money to spend on my equipment. I'm gonna start with probably one of the nicest bits of equipment that I use, which I'm currently holding. I will have to put it, do it in the mirror. It is the uh, gimbal, let's just get that. Hopefully you can see it. Yeah, so it's the. this is called the Gimbal G4S. It's designed by a company called Feotech. And that houses my one of my GoPro Hero 4. Uh, this is the silver edition. The reason I use the silver edition is because the silver edition has got the screen on the back. So that's really handy when I'm shooting with this gimbal because I can frame everything perfectly. So that's number one. Carry that in. Uh, that always comes with me along with the Hero 4 Silver Edition that's that's in it. Now, my bag of bits down here. Hopefully this is not gonna to be too much of a shaky video, but okay, what we got in here? It's always a bit of a mess, or at least it looks like a bit of a mess. So this is the Fairtech case that this gimbal comes in. Uh, in here, I've always got a couple of spare batteries. I've got a spare set of batteries for the actual gimbal itself in here, and that's it really in there. I'll try to keep that nice and simple. The gimbal folds away and I put it in there. Always put it away when you're not using it because it's you know very safe and it's in its sort of padded case. So let's just get that out of the way. What else we got in here? Uh, we've got a nice carbon fiber extension that screws onto the bottom of this gimbal. So that gives me sort of height or a bit more accessibility. Places like Goodwood, it's good because I can lift it up and over the crowds. And you know, that uh, does come in handy. Also a bit of a weapon just in case. Uh, what else we got in here? We've got some Meguiar's Detailer Spray. Always good to have in the car just to clean the glass and clean the wing mirrors. You know, the, the, the particular car that I'm in at the moment. In fact, let's just have a quick up out. I'll show you how disgustingly dirty it is. <laughs> Look at it, filth, absolute filth. Now, I'm not gonna clean the whole car with this detailer spray, but it is just nice to have with a couple of microfiber cloths, a good one and a shitty one, just to keep you know windows clean and also to keep the lenses clean on any of the GoPros if they do any work outside. Always water. I always have loads of water with me. Big bottle down there. I've got my, my mountain bike bottle here. So I have water and usually a couple of energy bars in here. I've got some polos. Um, I've got some tissues. Again, you can never have enough tissues. No, that sounds a bit suspicious, but anyway. Uh, what else we got? Some spray brackets. I've got a very good high power LED torch, just in case I need it, in case I get stuck out at night. So there's my new Hero 5 session, which is actually proving to be fantastic. I really like this camera. It's, okay, the sound quality on here is not as good as the 4s and the normal 5, but the battery life's much better than I thought because that's what I was worried about because obviously it's not a replaceable battery. You have to charge it up. So if it goes flat, then you're kind of stuck. But 
but it lasts a long time. I use this to do a lot of my external footage stuff. So that's cool. I've got another Hero 4. This is a black edition with a smashed screen here, but it all works fine. Now this is what I use to do most of my in-car stuff because the low light on this is very good. It's got like a uh, low light sensor or low light setting. Uh, it's very good, especially this time of year. In fact, I've just shot all the in-car stuff on this, on this particular bracket. Uh, this is one of the new GoPro suction mounts, which is a lot better than the older one. And that obviously just goes straight up onto the any bit of glass and away you go or any bit of bodywork as well uh, while I'm talking about that the suction mounts they're only as good as how clean the surface is basically so don't try sticking a suction mount onto the outside of a dirty car number one because it's going to scratch the car number two it's not going to be there when you come to get it back off again so again that's why I've got the microfiber towels clean the surface and clean the cup as well clean this plastic or rubber bit before you put it on the cleaner the connection the, the longer it's going to stay on there so make sure you you do that so how many suction mounts do i have i have three i don't know how many i've got with me so there's an older one not doesn't work as well but it's not too bad for sort of external use and there's another new one there with a slightly different attachment some deodorant just in case I happen to meet someone that's very attractive and I want to smell a bit fresher. No, I don't know why I've got that in there. Always carry deodorant with me. Sunglasses, wishful thinking in today's weather. You just never know when, when it's going to be a bright day, winter or summer. What else we got in here? A spare t-shirt. Always good to have a spare t-shirt. There's a little tripod mount for my GoPro. And then I've got like, yeah, little GoPro bags. So this is going to be, I hope I'm not swinging the camera around too much. Little GoPro bags that are basically full of Let's have a look. Oh, I've got some electrical tape in there as well, as you can see. So a little GoPro bag that's gonna be full of, yeah, stick-on mounts, adhesive mounts, uh, spare batteries, a battery charger. I've got about seven or eight batteries. You can never have enough. I've got a waterproof casing there, just in case the weather's really bad, but obviously that cuts out any kind of sound. Hey, well, there's a mic adjust. That's, that's for my mic for the GoPros. It needs like an adapter, so that's, that's that and these batteries are for my slr so moving on to my slr which is in the back here let's just pull that forward i don't usually use my slr but i've started using it recently because it's what three grand's worth of camera that's just been sitting at home i used to really be into my photography so it's a canon 5d mark iii and i've started using it for some of the sort of flyby shots and outside external shots i used it a bit on the focus rs video And yeah, it produces obviously very good footage. Now it comes with me basically everywhere. So it's attached to a tripod. I've got a mic. I've got a Rode external mic on the top there, which is really good. I uh, didn't use that with the RS, but I found the sound on this camera actually very poor. So now with the mic, hopefully that's a lot better. But that's a lovely piece of equipment. And that lives in the back. Big jacket, always bring big jacket, especially this time of year. You just don't know if you're gonna get a punch or if you're gonna be stranded at the side of the road. Talked about water, obviously make sure you've got a nice adapter. This is a very nice one actually, uh, designed by Anchor. Gives you four ports and uh, yeah, fast charger. We've got a GoPro mount just down there. Let's just have a look at the Alpina dials because they are so beautiful. Look at that. Love them, love them, love them. Hopefully this hasn't been too boring and hopefully it's sort of helped some of you out there. I don't know if it has. Always have cash on you as well. Don't just rely on your wallet. Have change, just whatever. Can't go wrong. You can never have enough stuff and especially in a car like this, you might as well fill it with, with stuff. So that's it really. That's how I shoot my videos. Let's close that because it is getting cold out there. And any questions, just ask me in the comments below. It's really dark. I need to go home and give this car back. Cool, guys. Thanks for tuning in as always. Give us a thumbs up if you, you wouldn't have enjoyed this video, but if you found it slightly useful, then give us a thumbs up. Cheers, guys. Take it easy. Bye.